whisper. Oh my God. Holy Spirit. I am humbled to be in His presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want you all to take a deep breath. Feel the tangible presence of the Holy Spirit in this place. Let's not lose focus of why we are here today. Hallelujah. To glorify His name. Hallelujah. And it is by His good mercy and glory that we have woken up this morning. And we are here to glorify His name. Hallelujah. Take another breath. And as you exhale, give Him praise. Hallelujah. mercy and his kindness that we are here today. It is my distinct pleasure and honor representing One Church Florida here. God came to unite. He gave his only begotten son so that we as followers of Christ could do his will. Yes, Lord. Not our own. 35,000 different denominations. Christ did not come to choose a denomination. Come on, Holy Ghost. Christ came to unite. Hallelujah. Religion that man has put in place. Come on, Holy Spirit. Come on, Holy God Spirit. God wants to unite. Hallelujah. And wants to use each and every one come of on, us. Come on, Holy Spirit. You are speaking good. For we are the body of Christ. Hallelujah. We are the church. You're talking true, sir. Everywhere we go. Amen. Everywhere we go. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, Holy Spirit. Thank you, mighty God. We surrender our hearts to you, Father. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Yes. Yes, Lord. It's not much. Hallelujah. But, Father, we surrender it all to you. Hallelujah. My God. Real devotion. The presence of the Holy Spirit is tangible in this place. It is tangible in this place. It is felt in all your own unique way. The Holy Spirit is touching you now and saying, Surrender it all to me. Surrender it all to me. Let go of your infirmities, of your iniquities. You are enough. You are made to do great things. You are created in my image and in my likeness. You are enough. He has given you everything you need in order to get through this season in your life. Know that you are enough. You are enough. He has given you everything you need in order to get through this season in your life. Receive it. Walk boldly in the presence of the Holy Spirit and allow His presence to guide you. For He is the lamp onto your feet. He will not walk you astray. He will guide you in the way you should go. Although that road may be narrow, do not grow weary, for He will not let go of your hand. You are not alone. You are not alone in this walk. No, Unity lies in the heart of God. And he wants this church united. He wants his people united. We are salt, for salt preserves. 
For salt gives taste. For salt gives flavor. We carry our own unique flavor, but we are all part of one body, and that is the body of Christ. Put the religion aside. Put the religion aside. And do the will of God, which is to unite and be a blessing unto his people. Yes, Lord. We have the power to change the outcome of someone's day with a simple smile. The Holy Spirit lies within each and every single one of us. And that is a strong presence. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your presence. Oh, a strong presence. Thank you for your presence, Lord. We never know what people are going through. Mighty God. As we walk the walk, as we go about our day to day, we don't know people's struggles. We don't know people's infirmities. But Jesus came to deliver us from that. We have been delivered so that we can deliver others. Hallelujah. We are blessed so we can be a blessing. Amen. We have been given hope so we can give hope. Yes, Lord. Let us not go weary as we walk the good walk and as we fight the good fights. For we all have a purpose and a calling. And if you're not sure what yours is, I'll tell you right now. Just like Abraham, is to be a blessing to all of the generations. So are we called to be a blessing to all of the generations, starting inside of our home, to our wife and kids, our first generation. We are called to be a blessing. That is our first ministry. Our first and most important ministry. Holy Spirit, you're speaking. Let's grow the unity in our home. Amen. Within our home, we will impact our community. Amen. From our community, we will impact our district. From that district, we will impact our states. Before we know it, we are seeing revivals coming from the island. Before we know it, we are seeing revival coming out of South Florida. Before we know it, church has no more names. There is no names in church. It is simply four walls, but we are to go and preach the word of the God right outside. For that is the true gospel. Not within four walls. We are the church. We are the body of Christ. Hallelujah. And God came to unite. Oh, hallelujah. Come on now. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit. Let's just go ahead and play some background music. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to pray. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit is going to lead you to say words. And you're going to talk to yourself. And you are the body of Christ. And only you can control what happens from the inside out. That is what you can control. Let's all control what's within our power to control. We are all created in His likeness and His image. We have inside of us the fruit of the Spirit. And we are able to activate that within a single thought. We are able to activate love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. All of these things to impact others. The first eight will impact everyone around you. Self-control is to keep yourself. It's insane. It's to keep yourself sane. <laughs> Self-control. The Holy Spirit will minister now through your mouth into your own heart. Hallelujah. Pray with me. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are so welcome here. Your tangible presence is felt in this place. We surrender our hearts to you, for that is our realest devotion. Oh, Father, our heart is completely surrendered to you. 
It's not much, but it's what we have to offer you. Please, God, take what we have, however it is, and make it whole. Make it whole, God. Make it whole. Oh, Heavenly Father, do what only you can do. You came to unite. Unite your people. Unite your nation, Father. For division is not in your heart, Father. You don't make exceptions of people, for we are all your people, Father. Minister now in our hearts. Minister now in our soul. And help us, Father, become whole again. For it is through that completeness that we will step out in faith and impact lives. For our calling has been to impact generations that have not yet been born, Father. Help us now start planting seeds of generational blessings. Help us now start planting seeds that will impact lives that have not yet been born, oh God. Help us now start planting seeds that will glorify your name. Change the dynamic of the churches here in the United States. For it is your will for us to be one. For you have sent your only begotten son so that we can have eternal life. And that eternal life starts now. For this is the, 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 the practice before the real game. And help us, Lord. Give us our best during the practice. So that when the game is on, Father, we can do your will with excellence, oh Father. Heavenly Father, you are a good, good Father. Nothing lacks in our lives. Help us change our perspective so that we can see things through your sight, through your vision. Help us, oh Father, to see that we are made whole and that you have completed us with the sacrifice on that cross. Oh, Heavenly Father, through your stripes we are healed, through your stripes we are made new, through your stripes we are now able to stand firmly and say, I have been saved so I can save others. I have been made new so I can help others to completion. I can now disciple others into their full completion. I can now walk with you, O oh Father, so I can impact this nation. Oh, Heavenly Father, you came to unite. Help us in the unification of your body, Father. Help us to be key elements in the unification of your body, Father. Heavenly Father, we are a volunteer army. We are all here out of our own free will. And thank you, Father, for giving us free will. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the free will that you have given us, for that gives us confidence in being able to make good choices. Heavenly Father, help us to take arms into this volunteer army, Father, so that united, we can unite your church. Outside of the four walls of the building, Heavenly Father, we ask that we may impact lives everywhere we go. For we carry within us the strong power of the Holy Spirit. And may we impact each and every single person that may come our way, oh Heavenly Father. Each and every single person that we may see in the supermarket. Each and every single person that we may see as we go about our day. For we have been planted where we are. For you have a purpose and a calling for our lives in that season where we are, oh Heavenly Father. Help us learn the lessons that we need to learn so that we can go ahead, Father, and continue to grow through the next cycle and the next season of our lives, oh Father. For you have not put us to be still. You have not put us to be put in one place. You have commanded us to grow. You have commanded us to learn. You have commanded us to become a better version of ourselves each and every single day, oh Father. So help us, oh Father, to learn the lessons that we
that we had to learn in this season of our lives. So we no longer need to keep on going around circles. So that we no longer need to keep going around the desert, oh Father. Help us, Father, so that we can go ahead and reach the promised land of unity. Unity in you, oh Father. And we unite ourselves in Jesus. So much power in that name. Jesus. Jesus. Christian Unity Church. Glory to God. 